In this video, we're going to take a look at the basics of data entry. We're going to concentrate on three areas within Logbook Pro, the certificates, the ratings, and the history area. The certificates area is where you can enter information that you want to store that relate to your certificates, such as student, private, commercial, flight instructor, as seen here. You can put in your certificate number and the date of original issue and any remarks. The way you make an entry is you just click on the bottom most row and you just type in your entry. So We'll call this one My Certificates. The number is whatever you want to put in for your number and the date of original issue. If you see a little calendar icon, such as you see here, and you can see how the mouse pointer changes when I put the mouse cursor over top of this icon, <coughs> we can actually select the date from the uh, pop-up calendar. And that's it. Hit Enter, and now the... Uh, record is stored. The same thing applies for the ratings area. It's identical except it just is a different area for you to track. You keep your ratings separate from your certificates. Click on the bottom row to make a new entry. We'll hit the letter T. If you look at the status bar, it is telling you that you can uh, either enter the date of original issue. You can also choose the uh, calendar icon or you can press the letter T as I have done which will automatically enter today's date. And there you have your rating. As far as the history, just a little different in that we have the same type of data layout, but now we have a drop down here in the events list to choose from events. Now the events can be created by clicking the events button here on the sub toolbar, or we can go into the options, history area, in add events in the in the uh, lower portion. But we've already added our events. We have everything we need here. So we'll go ahead and choose class one medical and we'll click as we click in the event date it's going to automatically enter today's date. Let's go ahead and back it up uh, to the 29th of January. And you can see Logbook Pro is automatically going to calculate based off of the information that was entered in the options history area in the configuration of this event. In this particular example it uh, used six months and then end of month, uh, the end of month flag, EOF, was checked, so Logbook Pro is going to automatically calculate that for you. If it's incorrect or you want to change the value, you can just go ahead and bring up the calendar and pick a different date and enter the appropriate date you want in for your expiration. This also comes in handy in that, as you know, that a class one medical after its expiration rolls to a class two, which rolls to a class three. So you can come in here and uh, actually degrade it uh, or regress it down to class two or class three. Or you can make new entries or you can change your expiration dates and the event um, as you so desire. You can see that uh, Logbook Pro will also indicate events that are expired here by uh, changing the date due to red so you can see at a glance just as you can in the Explorer as we've demonstrated in the Explorer video your data. Whatever you want to call it. Something else to show you in these um, basic data entry video. We'll go back to the history again. You can force a sort on a column simply by clicking the column header. So here, let's go ahead and click the column header, and you can see we've sorted alphabetically A to Z. Click it again, and it reverses Z to A. So you can actually click the uh, column header of any of the columns, and the columns will sort based on the column that you click. We can resize columns by moving the mouse pointer to the uh, vertical line break in between two columns. As you can see how the mouse pointer is changing to a different uh, icon, and in that you can actually resize columns. We can also rearrange the columns, and Logbook Pro will remember these settings, so when you change them, Logbook Pro is going to remember them for you. So as you can see, we've actually moved our columns around. We can actually reorganize our layout exactly as we want it, just by dragging the columns, click and drag. So, and that what we just looked at was the ability to sort the ability to resize our columns, and the ability to rearrange our columns as we so desire. And Logbook Pro will remember that information. I want to show you on the bottom of the screen here, we have the Enhanced Record Navigator, which you can choose to show or hide uh, from the sub toolbar. 
But this navigator, as you can see, we can click this button and make it uh, disappear or come back, allows you to do different things. If you put your mouse pointer over the button on the navigator, it will actually show you what uh, the button is going to do. It's going to take us to the first record, the top. If we go to the far right, it'll take us to the last record. And then Logbook Pro knows how many rows you're looking at in a page, so you can go a page at a time. So you can scroll up and down one page at a time or one record at a time if you go to the next button in. You want to create a new record, you can hit the plus sign. All right, let's add a new entry. If you want to cancel that, we can hit the cancel and uh, abort the new entry. And if you want to delete the specific row that is highlighted, you can go ahead and delete the row. And if you hit yes, it will be permanently deleted. There is no undo option. One other item to show you is the ability to play something called a bookmark. So maybe you're looking through a long list of data here, and we want to remember this particular record. We'll click the bookmark, and it's like putting a push pin um, on this particular item. And we can actually do this to multiple items. And then we can actually come back to this at a later time. Let's get those out of view. Well, we don't have enough to really get it out of view, but we can actually now go to our saved bookmarks here, as you can see and it will go to that row. I'm clicking this button over here on the right and it is actually showing us the bookmarks. Here it is providing the remark information and uh, there you have it. We can actually remove those bookmarks and then uh, create new bookmarks as needed. So this uh, enhanced navigation uh, system can come in uh, quite handy. We also have a find capability so you can actually do a complex find within your data entry areas, which includes your certificates, ratings, history, and logbook spreadsheet style, has this system, so where you can actually do a sort, depending on your uh, column you want to sort, the direction you want to, I'm sorry, search, the direction you want to search, the criteria, and any type of information you want to type in and do a find. So a little hidden treasure, if you will, at the bottom of your screen, the Enhanced Data Navigator, which has search capability, the ability to bookmark items, your navigation from first record, last record, to a page at a time, record at a time, and then adding and canceling information. On the last thing to show you here in the basics of data entry is the sub-level toolbar. On all these areas, on the far left is a settings or properties options type icon where you can control the grid style of this data entry area. You can control the font, your date format, the even row and odd row, for color and back color, your font color, or you can reset the layout. So if you get it out of hand with your fonts or display or it is locked up on you for whatever reason, not a problem. You can just go ahead and reset the layout and it will take it right back to the factory default settings. If you have a record selected, you can click this red delete arrow or X. And uh, if you want that particular row deleted, it will prompt you prior to doing so, as well as the export options and print options. Now, in some of these areas, what I want to uh, point out is uh, you're going to see in the reports video the numerous reports that are available. But you might also want to print directly from this spreadsheet uh, style layout. And uh, it will uh, automatically handle the page breaks for you if your data is going to be wider than a page. But you can actually print this spreadsheet uh, is the indicator to print the data exactly as I have it laid out on the screen. <clears throat> In a case where you have multiple rows selected, you can actually highlight multiple rows and then or a range of rows. Let's take a look here at the spreadsheet style logbook, and it will allow the option where you can actually print or delete those selected rows. So let's go back to the simpler layout. <coughs> and then the export options, if I haven't already mentioned that. So this is the basics of data entry. <coughs> as you can see here in the Logbook Pro. We'll look at some more advanced data entry items that apply more to the Logbook area uh, when we focus on the spreadsheet style Logbook in the uh, video to itself. Thank you for watching this video.